My name is Max Workman. I'm a staffer at the PM Lodge, and today I'm going to tie mouse flies for Alaska and mousing on the PM. We're going to start with a Daiichi 2220 number 4 streamer hook, and we're using Unithread 3 yacht in black. I'm going to put a red base on the hook all the way to the hook point or to the uh, barb. We're going to start out with a rabbit magnum strip in plain flesh. You're going to measure the rabbit strip about as long as the hook shank, maybe a little bit longer. You're going to pull the rabbit back to expose the hide. You're going to tie it in on the hook shank. And I like to do about two or three loose wraps and then one tight wrap, another tight wrap, and then another tight wrap. Then you're going to take two millimeter orange foam and you're going to cut it almost in like a triangle shape. It's going to be about three inches long and at the top it's going to be about an inch wide just tapering down to a point. You're going to tie the point in with the larger end facing the back. You're going to make about six to eight tight wraps to secure the foam in. You're going to bring your thread forward about halfway across the hook shank. And we're going to tie in some rubber legs, just plain black rubber legs. The length doesn't matter at this point, so we're going to go through and trim them to an adequate size when we're done with the fly. You're going to bring your thread to the eye of the hook, and you're going to wrap forward with the rabbit strip, trying to keep the legs from getting tangled in the rabbit. Once you get to where the legs are at, Gonna cross over and keep wrapping forward. Once you get just past or just been uh, behind the eye of the hook, you're gonna tie off the rabbit. Give it two or three loose wraps and one or two tight wraps. And you're gonna cut the rabbit. Now what I like to do is to push the rabbit back. So about a quarter, or about a quarter of an inch of hook shank behind the eye. And then just tie the rabbit in. What you do then is you just grab the rabbit, kind of pull it to the side. You're gonna bring the foam forward and tie it in. This can get a little tricky because the foam can slide um, across the hook shank. You wanna do about 12 to 15 tight wraps on the foam. You're going to bring the foam back, push it forward a little bit, and then do about another 12 to 15. No, nope. man. So once you're done making your wraps forward, just going to take a whip finisher. Two or three turn whip finish. I like to do two just to be safe. Pull it tight. Cut your thread. Trim it up behind the foam. You're just going to cut your legs to about an inch and a half, two inches long. There's your fly. 